In this tutorial, we're going to be working with layers. We're going to do several different things from using the layers panel all the way to duplicating a layer and changing the blending mode. We're going to start out by using the layers panel. The layers panel over here on the right hand side of your screen lists all the layers in an image. It displays the layer names and the thumbnails of the content on each layer. Now, if you do not see the layers panel, simply go to Windows and Layers, or you can click F7. That's the keyboard shortcut. On your layers panel, click on the background layer over here to make sure that that one is active. A couple of things I want to point out. The lock icon right here indicates that a layer is protected. The eye icon indicates that the layer is visible in an image window. Now, if you click the eye, the image is no longer displayed. If you click it again, it's back. Till it's launch bridge by clicking the launch bridge button. And I want to pick the beach photo right here to bring into Photoshop. So I'm going to double click that image. It brings it in. Notice over here in your layers panel, it's called layer one. We want to rename that, give it a different name, something like beach. The way in which we rename our layer is by double-clicking on the layer name and typing in beach. You can hit enter or click somewhere down below in the layers panel. We want to leave this window open so it remains active. And the next thing we want to do, we want to be able to see these side by side. So we're going to click up here on the arrange documents button. And we want to choose two up and then that way they end up being side by side. Next, we're going to choose our Move tool and take and move the beach photo over into the pineapple photo. So we're going to click and drag, and it drops down into our behind our pineapple. Now that we have our beach photo in our pineapple photo, we want to close out of the beach photo. So we're going to close the X. We don't want to save it. Let's go ahead and hide our background layer by clicking the eye icon and our pineapple layer. And we're going to work with adding a border to our beach layer. To do this, we need to go to Layer, and then Layer Style, and we want to choose Stroke in this instance. When this Layer Style box pops up, we want to make sure that our size it's about five pixels. We want to position it inside. Normal is correct with 100% opacity. Let's choose with our color picker by clicking on the color. Let's choose a white. And then we're going to click OK. And OK again. And it applied a thin five pixel border around our beach image. The order in which layers of an image are organized is called the stacking order. And you can see this, how they're stacked or ordered in your layers panel. We're going to rearrange the layers over here so that the beach image is in front of another image that is currently hidden in the file. First, we want to go ahead and make all of these layers visible by clicking the eye icon. And next, we want to drag the beach layer up so it's positioned in between the pineapple and the flower. The way to move the beach layer above the pineapple layer and below the flower layer is by clicking your mouse and holding it and dragging that beach layer until you get the black outline in between the pineapple and the flower layer and then you let go of your mouse. The last two things we're going to do are make the postage layer opaque and then we're going to take and duplicate the pineapple layer and it Put an overlay on it to make it the color more vibrant. So let's start out by making our postage stamp opaque. So we have this, this selected opacity is up here. Choose the drop down menu and use the slider to take it to 25%. Now we have what we want with our opacity. Next we're going to go ahead and choose our pineapple layer. To duplicate this we're going to right click, choose duplicate layer, Say OK, and then you have pineapple copy and pineapple layers. And what you want to do with that is you want to go up here and choose overlay. 
and now our pineapple is nice and vibrant.